Side. The NFL isn't the only professional league back on the gridiron. This is a great platform for them to be able to, to display and showcase their talents. Over 300 aspiring football players traveled to the Lone Star State for a shot at the Spring League and play on national TV. Fox Sports added the Spring League to its weekly programming this fall and also announced a multi-year agreement. The Spring League debut on FS1 features not only the league's most amount of prospects, but also the largest venue experience in its history. I think that's you know a great opportunity for guys to show what they can do who maybe had, you know, didn't have the publicity in college or whatever the case may be for each individual. And to play here at the Alamo Dome is gonna be fun. Um, I know all the guys are pumped up to play in a stadium like this. And from game one to game four and hopefully five for us, um, just you know, for us to get better and better each week, and I think you know, more football the better. Veteran pro coach June Jones says there's not a finer spot for these athletes than competing in San Antonio. If they haven't already been in a camp, they're not going to get into an NFL or a CFL uh, just by chance. Uh, the kids that come to this uh, spring league really have a chance to take that next step, which they're all looking to do. And former Michigan Wolverine Shea Patterson agrees. Not many opportunities other than the NFL right now, and uh, you know that's that's the goal uh, is to get there. And but before any player takes that next step, there's one piece of advice QB Brian Scott knows about the league's coaching staff. That's the way to set the feet. Soak in their knowledge, learn from them, you know, because they know what they're talking about. And on day one, Patterson shares the takeaways from his first TSL experience. Good group of guys. Um, first practice went really well. 